That was not it. That was not it. Welcome everyone to the 2024 World Championships in sunny Andorra. It is the junior practice day, the first day of practice. Only juniors today as they are racing early. And I was lucky enough to witness a beautiful dead sailor here in this finish line jump. He locked up midair and it was just beautiful to witness. If you want to know more about dead sailors, check out the recent episode of How to Bike. We also saw Ace of Vermet monster trucking down the hill on that new frame that they built for worlds it was looking like it was working well and he was going super quick considering it was his second run the other juniors were getting used to the dry and dusty conditions and i went to find ella Svegby, the new european champion so she could do a preview run for us here on pink bike let's go to her hi i'm ella Svegby. i ride for sweden and also for the privateer project and this is the junior course preview awesome thank you So Ella is in the start gate, the beautiful Pyrenees views in the background. We're starting on the opposite side of that top gondola station. So we've got a new jump, new turn, and then some loose open turns. And oh my God, Ella almost washed out there. The kid's not cut in yet. So she's supposed to be going that way. Her wheel was pointing that way. She was heading in that direction. And then the two forces kind of merge together and it just hooks up and she goes where she's supposed to go. This is super early on though. So the lines have not cut in yet as she joins back onto the original track. So these are some super, super fast and fun sections, big jumps, really open. And these corners and jumps get really cut up as the weekend goes on. And this one is massive and big braking bumps always come out coming into that turn. And that shark fin jump has actually caused a lot of issues in the past, but it looks like it's running quite well now. Now we get into some multi-line choice, there's some insides, outsides, lots of tricky rocks. You don't want to get offline and catch anything and give yourself a puncture. Also, you get a little bit offline up in this stuff. It goes from semi-grippy dust to just absolute powder. So you've got to make sure you stay online, keeping the eyes up and making sure you go exactly where you want to go. Huge jump that they had to close due to wind. That was the one Camille hurt herself on a few years ago. And it looks like it's not windy today, which is really good. So lots of line choice down here. And Ella's absolutely hauling. Like I think she said she's already done four runs at this point and you can tell she is going for it. Although to be fair, they're not going to be racing for another four days. So, oh, I heard that turn. This right-hander here is a really tricky one. It gets very blown out, not that supportive. And down here, so fast. Once riders get comfortable, you can go super quick. But this is a little deviation. The white line is where the track used to go into one of the fastest straights on a World Cup. But now they're going up around this green tree. Slows down the entrance into it a little bit. I'll tell you what, it was still shifting down there. So it doesn't slow things up that much. Traversing across the hill, staying off the brakes trying to deal with the mottled light in that early morning sun and now things get gnarly. So this is where the big rock steps are. Really tricky because there's a lot of edges there that want to slip your wheels and big rocks that just want to blow them up. Really clean through there. Straight across the road and down into this next section. So there used to be a middle line here which they've now blocked off. There's a little split line. Ella's going for the left one that looks like it's working really well. Carrying speed out of there getting close to the bottom now but there's actually still a decent amount left to go as she motors through here the track used to go down to the left there a couple of years ago this was built last year and it used to be a right hander into a quad but it's changed not a quad anymore it's a huge double and look at those case marks for people that thought it was still a quad yeah that crash pad is definitely a good call ella tags it just a little bit no dramas so lots of lines in here there's highs there's lows there's highs there's lows this might be a bit wee ghost because it's actually really tricky to tell what's the best line through there so down look at all these crash pads watch out for the trees keep your eyes on the track ella goes high above that orange pad down here very tricky to see where all the different lines are in this light ella goes inside middle and down here there used to be a really tricky path gap that a lot of people were struggling with but they've got a new takeoff new landing and that looks like it's working really well so we're coming down into the lower last rocky steep section a little chicane there they taped in i was there filming saw her coming down and she was going so much faster than anyone else that i'd filmed in the female junior category around the last corner that jumps a tricky pull, but she gets it clean. Such a fast run from Ella. I always say to them to take it easy, but that was fast. Okay, let's try another one. I ride for Sweden and also the privateer project. <laughs> so 
hard. It's so hard, isn't it? Especially when the camera is like this in your face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>